Hi, I'm Duronad, graphic designer in Gizmox. Today I'd like to introduce you to a new feature in Visual Web GUI 6.4 which enables you to change the color scheme of your application. As the theme needs to be a part of the application project in the development environment, we now need to use Microsoft Visual Studio development environment. In Visual Studio, we right-click on the project we want to add the theme to, select the Add New Item option, select the Visual Web GUI theme on the dialog and call it Golden. Next, we need to build a project where the theme is at and show the theme in Design View. Now we need to make sure that the Theme Root Tree View item on the left is selected and click on the Expert button. In the dialog that opened, we need to check the images and the system colors checkboxes and click on OK. Now we need to select to what directory the images are going to be exported. In this case, we'll export them to Golden. In the Golden directory, we can see the images we exported. We need to sort them, and that's why we have three pre-made directories. The untouched directory made for images we don't want to change because color is part of their functionality. The RGB for the ping or the PNG files. And the index for the GIFs. So at first we need to switch to medium icons view so we can locate the images we don't want to affect. We pick all the images we want to keep untouched and we make sure to select the animated GIFs as well. In the untouched directory you can pause this video and check to see if you haven't missed anything. Back to list view to select files by type. All the GIFs go to the index directory. All the pings go to the RGB directory. The theme data file is our timestamp and we want to leave it in place. In Photoshop, the first thing we want to do is to load the colorized theme action available in our website on the downloads page. We load it into our actions palette. Here there are two actions, RGB colorize and index colorize. The two actions are pretty much the same. The only difference is in the export stage. The RGB colorize export as PNG and the index colorize exports as GIF. The actions are quite simple. First, we get rid of the colors by switching to the grayscale mode. Then we switch to RGB so we can make color changes. We create a new layer, we fill it with background color, so by changing the background color you can apply to your application any color you choose. We stick to orange because we want our application to be golden. We selected the RGB colorize action. Now we go to File, Automate, Batch. In this dialog, we can see that our action is already selected. In the source, we choose our RGB directory. Destination, we don't touch. Errors has to be on Stop for Errors. Once that's done, we can click OK. And the action is running. Once done with the RGB colorize action, we switch to the index colorize action. Go back to Files, Automate, Batch. The index colorize action is already selected, so all we need to do is just to change the source directory to our index directory. And we let it run again. Once done with these actions, we can go back and see what happens in our golden directory. As we can see, all the images have changed. It is all ready to be imported back to our Visual Web GUI project. Again, in Visual Studio, we need to import all the modified images back into the theme. Now let's make sure the theme root tree view item on the left is selected and click on the import button. We'll direct the system at the golden directory where the images are at and click OK. The images are now being imported. Our theme is ready for use. 
I would like first to demonstrate our sample application in its default form. I will open a new non-nodal dialog, for example. Now let's demonstrate the new theme we created on the same application. First, we need to register this theme. So we'll double click on properties to open the project properties page and show the registration tab. In this tab, on the theme section, click on the add button on the right, select the theme from the list in the dialog form. Now that the theme is registered, we need to select it as the theme used by the application, save the project and run. Okay, this is how the system looks after the changes we made. Let's see how it works. Et voilà.